If you're using or thinking about using EDA5, then you've probably heard the term testing it. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. Shake it. I'm Mike from MPT. Now, if you're using or thinking about using EDA5, then you've probably heard the term testing it, which sounds scientific, sounds confusing, but it's really not. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. So here we have two different E85 test kits. These can be purchased anywhere online, very common. You can see this one's a little bigger. This one's a little smaller. This one that we're gonna use right now is the Boost Monkey E85 kit. Super straightforward. Really the benefit is that this one's smaller, so it requires you to add less E85. This one needs a little bit more, but when you're standing it up, it's more stable. So that's really the biggest difference. So if you can keep them straight, then the little one's just fine. So how do they work? So on each one, there are lines near the bottom that say H2O. So you're gonna fill it up first with water, right up to the line. And then you're gonna fill it up again with E85 that you're testing all the way to the line indicated on the little tester here. Really handy if you have a, one of these little pincher Doppler thingies. I'm pretty sure that came with this one. I don't remember though. So I'm gonna grab some E85 out of there, put it into here. With this little dropper, might take a couple tries to get it all the way full. If you got a steady hand, obviously you can just pour this in. It's gonna take probably 15 or so. Getting up there. Once it gets closer to the mark, I'm gonna put it flat. Okay, let's see where we're at now. Tiny bit more. Once you've filled it up with the 85, up to the mark. The next thing you do is shake it. Shake it up nice and good. Mix that E85 with the water, and then we're gonna let it settle. And as that mixture settles, it's gonna reveal a line that's gonna show us our E85 rating. Now on these, they typically read, like this one came with E60 to E95. And then what we did was we kind of measured and extended it. Obviously not super accurate, but wanted to know, be able to test fuel as low as, you know, E30, E40. Our actual mixture was in the tank. We've done pretty much the same thing on this one. Now, if we're working with the gas station, ideally you want to test it at least one time and kind of get familiar with what that gas station provides. It might vary from gas tanker fill up, but the main thing we want to know is like, does this station give out E50, E54, E60, or is it closer to E85? So I'm seeing some nice separation there. Let me bring it closer, hold that steady. And you can see here that line is about 83, maybe 84. So really close. This is fresh E85 from close to us. Oh, by the way, another tip. If you're gonna have E85 in a jug sitting around, make sure you label it and make sure you date it. You don't wanna be using E85 that's been sitting around for several months. And that's how easy it is to test your E85.